And we're back with another day of Seven Days to Die. Day five. We are camped out on the roof of the Poppin' Pills in the, uh, the new town we found. And just getting ready to to, he to get everything together and head out. We're going to have to eat. And I figure out what's going on with all that. I kind of want to do one more load of clubs since we got the wood for it. Oh, I love this new controller. I'm going to get another one. I think. Nice and snappy on the, on the uh, in response. I'd been using my old controllers from the release uh, console from what four years ago, five years ago, whatever it's been now, and uh, upgraded to the X over the winter right after it came out controller came with it and I just set it aside because I already had controllers I was using. Excuse me, and the D-pad on uh, one of the old ones uh, kind of went out on me uh, a few days ago, so I started rotating in the uh, the new controller. Man, this thing is great. It's a lot better than the older ones. I'm going to have to get another one for sure. Faux show. Sure. Time is it? Yeah, it's about. We gotta get start to get ready to get going. Maybe another load or two of these, and then we'll start getting loaded up. We gotta eat. Figure out what all we're gonna take with us. Bunches of stuff. We got too much stuff, really. I'd love to fin get this into the blue. We're close. But we don't have enough wood. If we had enough wood, I'd probably stick with it for a couple out a couple game or you know another game hour or so but that's all right it's all a progression we'll we'll just work our way into it our basics
Okay, one thing I want to do. Actually, let's grab one of these. We're going to make a new shiv. We're going to make a new bow. And I can't remember if I've ever used a barbed club or or not, but it's I think it's better than the the reinforced. So we're gonna make one of those. Usually by the time I get around to needing to upgrade the, the reinforced club, I have the well I say usually, often. Um when I have the the by the time it's time to upgrade the Reinforce Club, I've got the Spike Club schematic, so, and we don't yet, so. Okay, first things first. We're gonna eat. You know what? I'm just going to make two. See where that gets us. Make a couple more. Oh, I can make bacon and eggs. Shit. Stop that. Way to way to pay attention there, Maldring. Tops us off, okay, so I just don't want to have to carry much stuff. They only the bottle water is only stacked to fifteen, so good. Okay. We got some angry locals smelling meat down there. This is our new club. That's gonna go back with us to go into the forge. Everything's good here? Okay, let's figure out what all we're going to take with us. Let's see. Definitely going to take that. kind of want to take this. The beer's coming. Put that down here. We'll take the meds. We'll take this just in case we need a snack during the day. Potato seed. Wouldn't mind bringing the coat just to be safe, but we've got. Oh, can't forget that. Okay, it's kind of tight, but we can we can ditch a bandage if we need it. And I'd like to bring this, but. <clears throat> There's only so much room. And uh, do we have this marked? No, we do not. Let's mark this. We've got a chest up here. 5 a.m. and we are off. Okay, now before we go, oh, you know what I want to do? Just to be safe. I'm 
do we not have we don't have plant fibers for a bedroll. I'm gonna have to grab some plant plant fibers. Um I wanna stick a bedroll up there, because we're gonna go well here, let me just do this real quick and then I will I will splain. Um, before we leave town to go back home, I want to, uh, check around the rest of this town. We haven't, we still haven't been all the way around this town, but let's see where we're going to go. Let's go north. Um, because I want to see if there's a garage here with a workbench in it. How sweet would that be to go home with a, with both a, uh, a chemistry table and a chemistry station and a workbench. So yeah, I just want to just and just in general find out what other POIs are here. And knowing my luck, I will probably you know this. We just got here and they're you know it's still packed full of zombie zombies. We cleared a lot from the center yesterday when we got into town, but part of this town is in wasteland. Which is kind of dangerous, so that's why I wanted to drop a bedroll. Excellent, we got a gun store. In fact, I'm gonna drink a beer. Oops. So that we can sprint all the way around this thing, or mostly. I don't have full uh, Tyrannosaurus yet, but it's, just, it's it's at three. But it definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, it definitely helps. This isn't a bad little town. I would be tempted to maybe even move the whole operation over here. In fact, I really like this town, actually. What's the elevation here, just out of curiosity? Minus four? That's, eh. Well, I don't know. I don't know that I'm really going to be going underground too much on this one, so it doesn't really matter. But And it's way in the corner. It's like literally right. See, there's wasteland here, so this is probably wasteland like up over here. Okay, this is where we came in. I don't remember seeing any garages. Let's go north here. What is this? That's the day's end, I think. Yes. Okay, so... Let's kind of work our way through and then head. we'll head over to where the uh, wasteland area is. But yeah, if it wasn't for that wasteland side of town, I think this would be ideal, actually. Not that where we're at is bad, it's just really, really small. And 
doesn't really have a whole lot in the way of POIs. Has what we need. There's a working stiffs there. There's a, uh, a crack of book. But it would be nice to be in a bigger town, though. What is that over there? Is that the? I think that's the poppin' pills we stayed at. I think. gun store. Yes. Another road going north. Okay, yeah, that's where we stayed. All right, we're going to keep going this way. Yeah, see where it's all wide open over here? This would be a pretty cool place to put... Well, I don't know. Maybe not because of that drop-off. But that other side of town with the hills behind it would be great. Hello, sir. I got the nice house. It's a nice-sized town. I guarantee you that's wasteland that way. This turns into pine forest. It's just for the sake of completion. Let's go have a look down here. Yeah, see, like, where maybe right in here would be a good place to put a base. Like, in the wide open blocks. I've done that before. It's actually really cool. Put you got kind of right in the middle of town without actually being in town. So I guess it's just this one corner. Yeah, there's the poppin' pills we stayed at. I guess it's just this one corner that's wasteland. I did go in there. All right, well, let's do the nasty. Let's go into the into the wasteland. Keeping our eyes peeled for dogs and more importantly for landmines. Oh, radiation. Radiation. I'm 
just leaving that. So part of the town is in radiation. Now we're back at the day's end. Do we miss anything? Yeah, part of the town's in right. That's crazy. I've never seen that. Not that I've really looked, but that's pretty cool. I mean, well, I don't know if cool's the word because it kind of fucks up the town, pardon my French, but but it's interesting that that happens. I want to kind of get some place sort of safe-ish. Who's hunting us? Is there like a crawler? Oh, that's that chick. Okay, real fast. I'm gonna. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and use this. And we're gonna take a painkiller. Drink some water. Get patched up, and we are outy. We are due east, so I'm not gonna try to go up that hill. We'll go this way. See if there's anything in between. Maybe do a little hunting along the way. A host. I bet these roads connect. It's kind of cool. Let's kind of go northish.
that looks like that's the same desert biome in the distance that's north of town, right? Yeah. Let's go, dude. Let's see how my new club works, yo. Oh, it works great. here. Wouldn't mind whacking him, but I kind of want to get back, get this, uh, get this stuff in the box and get on with the rest of the day.
We on the wrong side of town? Yeah, we are. On the east side of town, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Got to remember to drop my bedroll again. Not bad, not bad. That was a pretty, uh, pretty successful little outing, I think. Get some antibiotics for the next time. I'd like to get some honey, actually. that aside, because we're going to make a crossbow soon. I want to do probably one more night of uh, of spam crafting before we do that. thinking about it. I'm going to go ahead and get that in there. This and yeah. Is that all of our meat? I guess it is. Put that in there. Reload on this. We don't need to carry that around with us. And I think we're done having to carry that because we got the new club. Oh. Chemistry station. I'm very happy about that. Very happy about that. I don't really need it yet, but it's cool to not have to train it. Um, I've got to step away for one moment. I need to visit the gentleman's room. I will be right back.
And I'm back. Sorry about that. When nature calls, it calls. Um, we're going to leave the beer also. This can come out with us. Yeah. Okay. First order of business. 10 a.m. Well, that was that was a productive little outing. Cured our infection. Scored a chem table. Got to see where there's another town, which I actually probably should have looted it while I was over there, but we'll hold off on that. Get turned around. I forget where I'm at. Okay. Uh, are our crops ready? Yes. I'm going to get this turned around so we can get these fields filled out. I'm going to build two more fields. But not today. I think we're going to wait on that because we're not. we haven't filled all these out yet. So I'm just going to get these turned over so we can fill these. I'm going to have a field of goldenrod, a field of corn, a field of potatoes, and then we're going to, um, let's get everything started here. I shouldn't say a field, a, a plot. Because I've heard that the uh, that on Xbox we take a performance hit from having too many farms, and I think that might be contributing to my MD5 error error that I got. So I'm not going to go too big. I'm going to do. I'm going to go four field or four plots. We're going to have corn, goldenrod, potatoes, and then a the fourth one that I that I rotate stuff through. Um, and I'm just going to have to farm, you know, smaller but more often, basically. And I'm not going to plant a ton of trees. I'm going to probably go for like a dozen trees in the tree farm just to have a steady source of wood. And then that'll be that. Now while these seeds are uh, being made, let's go ahead and get a jump on our looting. This I can finally loot. That we got.
Oh, this is a working sis. Don't we have a crack of bug? I think we have a crack of bug. That's alright, this needs to be looted anyway. We're right next to the farm, so. Very nice, actually. Run back over here and stick these in the ground real quick. Sorry about that, that was my phone going off. I will call them back when I'm done streaming. And while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and stick. Where 
is it? Coffee in the ground. And we'll do the aloe vera also, right? Yeah, we're not going to screw with the mushrooms because they take forever. And we really don't need them at the moment. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. It's just now noon. We've turned our crops over. Came back from... Oh, wait. I gotta... You know what? Before I forget... Oops. I almost forgot. back in the forge. I need to do that, but not a huge deal. In this case, if it were we had more going on with that, I'd nice. Just handing out the the wooden frames, aren't they? Okay, any more around the top? No, no. We got got this one. Yes. Okay. Let's hit the hit the bathroom. Bunches of mechanical parts is always welcome. Always welcome. Nice. 
even better than what we've got. But yeah. What am I doing? So nothing earth shattering, but we got a new wrench, an upgrade. I'm gonna actually set that aside because we're not really wrenching anything yet because we don't have steel to repair the wrench. So I'm gonna stick with my old one for now. Okay, as far as the good POIs go, there's that. I think the crack of book is around this way. We'll go ahead and do Buzz's bar. I think we checked the dumpster already, but we'll check it again. Yeah. Yeah,
Okay, we'll use this one since we know. We have another blue. Another blue one waiting for us. And also, since we're still right here next to the next to the farm, I'm gonna go ahead and stick these seeds in since why not? Two o'clock. If we can get all the major POIs done today, that would be pretty sweet. Although, really need to get some wood and plant fibers together. So, I think the, isn't the crack a book up here? You know what? We're just gonna we're gonna do the car place next. It's been a while since I've taken one of these down. I'd love to find a, a workbench in there. I don't I don't think these have them, but it would be cool. One can dream.
think I've got a box like right here. No? Somewhere. So I'm going to just take a quick look around this one more time. Before we go, just to make sure. Yeah, I hear you. I think this is the sham way. Yes. And I think the crack book is up north. Like over here. Yeah, there it is. There she is. Got a box out here.
Four o'clock. Nice. Well, well. That's the one I didn't get last time. Mini bike buck. Boots. Oops. That we have. We already got the hunting rifle. Pistols. Good. That already. Got that already. SMG and McCoy verse. You know what? I just realized I didn't uh We didn't uh I didn't look for for other uh traders while we were out to the west or out to the east, I should say.
AK. And that's the crack of book. Now, I think aside from the, the hotel, that'll still be here. I think aside from the hotel, hey, what's up, Open Range? Hey, Stormy Waters, what's up? Yeah, hey, Open Range, I just won the game. I just got my my, <laughs> my mini bike schematic. No, I, I'm, I may build it sooner rather than later, though, because I'm trying to do things, like, differently than I normally do on this, uh, on this run. Any of this stuff need to go? No. Okay. Alright, let's look at something here. I'm gonna look at tools. I want steel. And we gotta get to construction 40. I haven't done jack in construction. So I think tomorrow, instead of uh, looting, let's see, is it day five? Yeah, tomorrow instead. You know what? No. Tomorrow, we take down the Shamway and the Motel. And then on day seven, we get our little quick and dirty horde base up. And then we wrench. And then we wrench like mad. Because I want, I want to get steel tools to open safes. And then we'll try to lo get this place looted. And then we'll go do the same thing in the other town. Yeah, what happened in yours? That that uh, in case anyone's not watching chat, open range. I, man, I got so damn mad. I started another seat. Well, welcome to welcome to my world, my friend. What uh, what uh, what what happened that got you to start over? Okay, for the rest of the day, we need we need we need wood, stone, and plant fibers. So, let's see. What is it now? It's now almost six. We got we have twenty minutes. So I'm gonna go out here. We're gonna do the stone first. No, usually they don't they don't happen until quite a ways in. Um, that's why I was surprised to get the one on, uh, on, uh, on day 39 when we did. Usually, usually, uh, when they happen, it's like, you know, it's further along. It's a couple months in it, you know, into a playthrough. I think I have a theory. I don't, I don't have any facts to back this up. But I've heard a lot of people say, I'm running an Xbox One X, and I don't remember it happening on my uh, on my release console before I upgraded, but I don't really get lag from farms and tree farms and stuff. But I've heard other Xbox users say that it's caused performance problems for them. And I tend to farm big. And I went pretty big on the last one. Not as big as I planned to go, actually. But it leads me to suspect that that might have been what happened, like, contributed to my MD5. So I'm going to try to, like, keep my farm small. I'm not going to plant tons of trees, just like a dozen, just to, you know, keep myself in wood conveniently by. Um, you're tired of the running simulator? What, well, what, uh... What is doing it? What is starting a new one do for you in that regard? Were you spread out in your in your old one?
Gotcha, gotcha. You've been playing on Nava's game? I still, uh, have not played on Nava's game. I need to do that. Kind of thinking, you know, maybe the next one will be on Nava's game. I don't know. I kind of want to do a Nomad run. This one might become a Nomad run, but I was thinking Nava's game might be good for that for some reason. I don't know. I could be completely wrong about that. I don't know Nava's game. That's awesome. Ten cities, eleven traders, ninety percent green. Did you uh, did you get that from uh, Crackpot Texas? Because he's got a couple like that on there. Or was it totally random? Like you you just lucked into that. Crackpot came in glutch. Came in glutch is the seed. Clutch is the seed. Valencia, excellent, excellent. Maybe I'll do my 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 uh, my nomad uh, run on that. I've never done a, a nomad run. I kind of I think it'd be cool to have a like ton of cities around. It would suck to be on a kind of a crappy map for that. Valencia. Okay, I'm going to write... Actually, you know what? I'm going to jot that down. I think I've seen that. I've watched a bunch of his videos. Excellent. And it's capital V on that uh, open range.
7 o'clock. We got 15 minutes. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I may give that one a try when I get around to it. I don't know. I'm getting a little bored. Not really... You know what? Bored isn't the, isn't the word. It's just, like, I played a game, like, two weeks ago, right, that I didn't stream. And I got... Well, it was kind of like the whole time I, I, I... That's when I did my... I first did that drop base. That drop pit. And I loved it. And I was like, you know what? You should be streaming this. Because it would be so much more fun having people hang out. So, but I wanted to do that again because I love the base. So I started over and streamed the last one, and then we lost it to the MD5. And now I don't like since I've just built that same base twice in the last couple weeks. I don't want to do it again. But at the same time, we're so limited on Xbox. Like I don't know, there's really not another base design in the current version of the game that I really get that excited about. And you know, and then to have it all nuked by an MD5 anyway, I'm just a little a little bummed about that. And like, I kind of want to do something different, but at the same time, it's like I can't figure out what I want to do. Um, like, I, I have an idea of one, but I need I think I need some guns. So, I'm just laying back in this one. We're going to... I got a temporary horde base design. I don't know if you ever saw it on, on the last game. I usually just use it for the first two weeks to give myself a little breathing room. Hey, Juiceaholic. Um, to give myself a little breathing room for uh, getting the real base up and running, which I would be building by now. Usually I start on day four or five. And, um, but I'm kind of convinced that temporary base will last through the first month at least. And I'm kind of thinking about going with that. But as far as, I don't think it'll, like, once you start getting more than... I don't know that it'll, like even even upgraded. I don't know that it's gonna it's gonna hold up too well with with cops and ferals, and I mean ferals won't be that dangerous because it's just like you know I just don't know how I'll kill them necessarily. But worst comes to worst, you just jump down in the morning, kill everything else, and jump down in the morning and just melee the feral. Cops are a different situation now. If you can drop the cop before it gets to you and it doesn't screw up too much with cop spit you may still be okay I don't know I don't know do you have do either of you guys happen to know because I've never never tried it you know you know when you do catwalks and you can upgrade them to the metal catwalks how do those hold up against cop spit something I mean I, I have a feeling I already know the answer to it that probably cops cop spit probably goes through through them like a hot knife through butter but do either of you guys have uh, have any experience with that I'm thinking that's kind of the determining factor. And you're going to need some kind of gun to kill the cop before you just, you know. Because if he gets in there and blows out a pillar, you're you're probably done. I don't know. I'm sitting here kind of thinking out loud. You'd have to see the base to see it. It's basically just a simple catwalk base. Nine by nine, four supports, catwalks in between. You fill the center with spikes and that, you know, you can pretty much, you know, you can... You can you can kill the first two h hordes unarmed in that thing just by kiting them through the spikes. But I don't see any. I've never seen anything from the from the from the 21 or sh 21 or 28 day hordes that would present any problem there either. You know the way I build it, it's spider proof. So a lot of science in this in this particular playthrough. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out. Oh, and Juiceaholic, sorry I missed your uh, your chat yesterday. You asked if I was if I was running without a mic. Um, I wasn't, but for some reason I watch chat in here when I'm I don't have my PC in front of me. It's in the next room. And for some reason, when I was uh, I've never had this happen before, and it hasn't happened since. But in that in that stream, for some reason, the chat stopped coming through on the tablet that I watch it on. So. That's why I missed your uh, missed your chat. Otherwise, I would have said hello and answered your question. So my apologies. Hmm. 
Yeah. That's kind of what I'm going to probably do in this. If, you know, at whatever point the uh, the temporary base gives out. What kind of uh, what kind of barrier are you? What kind of cage are you gonna go for? Open range? You're gonna go for like pillars, or or like you know some other setup. I want. There's a pole setup that I want to try, and I have a feeling because and, and and it doesn't work apparently work very well with spikes. So pretty much you gotta like it. It's really good at holding everything out. Everything except dogs. Apparently dogs can damage it. But everything else really doesn't do a whole lot of damage to it. Maybe bears. Um, but it doesn't work very well with spikes because you don't want a lot of crawlers. Crawlers are a problem. Dogs are a problem. So pretty much you have to kill every single zombie on a horde yourself. Whether it's with firearms or, you know, melee. Seems like it'd be a lot of work. Sounds like it'd be a pain in the ass. But, but it also sounds like it'd be really easy to build and low maintenance. The only thing that kills me about above above ground bases, especially with a lot of spikes, is just the, the maintenance gets freaking old. Yeah, pillars and blocks. Very cool. Very cool. My last one I streamed before... Well, my first one, actually. Before the last one was a, was a pillar base like that. I had a ton, ton of, ton of spikes on it though, so that's probably why, uh, why it was so much maintenance. I'm fairly convinced that that zombies are coded to like go right for spikes, just to thrash them up. Even if you're nowhere near the base, you're outside the base. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape. We'll do one more. Even if you're outside the base and a wandering horde comes in, a guaranteed one or two of the Zeds will go right at your spikes, even if you're not, like, standing next to them. Yeah, yeah, I prefer those too. Unless there's like just a reason why I shouldn't use them. I think they look, they look cooler too. I think I think the spikes look kind of stupid. I know there are people who think the upside down ones don't look right. I'm like, I don't get that because like the right side up ones don't look right. As as far as spikes go, you know what I mean. It's a cone, it's not a spike. Doing them, doing them upside down uh, also will uh, will keep them from, uh, from doing that whole hop thing. I mean, they'll still do it sometimes, but it's not as often and, and it's not as, not as pronounced, I've noticed. Keep them from bouncing around so you can actually get a headshot off if it hasn't taken them down yet.
Well, at least they came early today. I love that they send you a wandering horde, like, right before the sun goes down. Maybe I won't die from this one. Where do we get to in plant fibers? Still sucking in plant fibers, but... I guess we're probably not doing tools tonight. Well, we'll do some. We'll do what we can what we can do. I should probably not push my luck. And You're out.
Very cool. Welcome back. I have to look. I have to look. There is a band playing about a mile from here. There's a big civic festival in my hometown, or the city I live in, and I live about five minutes from downtown. And I can kind of half hear this band, and I have to look. A couple years ago, I still had it was still cool from the spring. I still had the windows open. From kind of, you know, kind of climatizing, you know, before it gets too hot. And, uh, I think it says that's Hank Williams Jr. I'm listening to right now. Um, but I was sitting on my couch and I could hear Boston playing, which was kind of cool. If you like classic rock or just, you know, Boston. I'm in uh I'm in Tennessee. Chattanooga, Tennessee to be exact. Or a kind of a just a mid sized southern city, kind of nestled in the foothills of the Smokies. A lot of mountains, a lot of rivers, lakes, you know, it's very hilly, mountainous in some places and we're surrounded with water and it's pretty cool. I, I grew up here, and I've been back for about 15 years now, and I'm I'm a little bored with it, honestly. I, I'm used to I got used to living in bigger places, but but it's nice, you know. We get a little we get you know we get like a couple hours of rush hour traffic in the mornings in the morning, and a couple hours of uh, rush hour traffic in the afternoon, and otherwise, um, it's pretty chilled out, you know surrounded by East Jesus but I live in civilization <laughs> Athens Georgia oh, that's a great town that's a great town I uh it's been about eh, it's been about 15 years but I was my girlfriend for about three or four years her family lived in Athens her uh her stepfather is a professor at the university, so I spent a lot of time there during that. Um, very cool town. As a matter of fact, I've got a a, a 15 pack of some kind of terrapin uh, IPA in the fridge right now. I forget what it is. I just I hadn't seen it before, so I grabbed it.
Matter of fact, the best time I ever had in Athens, Georgia, I was living up north at the time and came home to visit family for about a week. And a bunch of my friends were going to, uh, this would have been like 90, like spring of, spring of 98, I think. I went to that big, uh, that big outdoor uh, widespread panic show they had in downtown Athens. I don't know if you were around for that. Franklin Gun Shop? That's cool. I don't know Franklin Gun Shop, but very cool. Yeah, you were 14. There are a lot of families there, though, as I recall. A lot of seriously fucked up people, too, and I was probably one of them. <laughs> I gotta say, we got down there early and started drinking that afternoon. It was just ridiculous. It was just ridiculous, and it was fun. And I ran into people I knew from, like, high school and stuff. I just got randomly out in the middle of... What street is that that runs through the middle there? Uh, Lumpkin Street, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. It was fun. It was a fu really fun time, really fun weekend. Well, I say weekend. We were only there for that one night. I drove over from uh, my friend's cousin was in school there at the time, so we stayed. We stayed at her house. She had a whole crew of people crashing on our, you know, couches and floors and all that for it. But we drove over from Alabama. You won't hate me if I tell you I'm I'm Alabama alumni, will you? Uh, open range. Hey, I'm on pair. It's going really great, man. Um, the weapons to us very lucky why not us in France in, in the in the galley I'm sorry I think the language barrier might be catching us uh, mon pair because I'm not really sure what you're what you're uh, referring to Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, oh, yes, yes. You guys have very strict uh, gun laws over there, for sure. 
You were talking about open range working in a gun store, yeah. Aren't there places in Europe where you have to, like, if you're going hunting, um, don't aren't there aren't there places in Europe where you have to actually like register with the authorities that you're you're transporting a weapon? <laughs> These kinds of things are just unheard of here. Uh, we we have people have guns in America. Which, for purposes of the game, is probably not a bad thing, because... Where else, where would we find weapons? We wouldn't have gun safes and houses and stuff. So... So if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, Amon Pair, you guys are going to be trouble in trouble over there. No backpacks with... No toilets with pistols in them. No backpacks with gun parts. What's that? Spamcraft? Yeah, yeah. I know it's gone from the the PC game. We still have it. We still have it on uh, on console. So I take full advantage of it. Not just to get a jump on tools, which is you know the the most obvious benefit, but just just to get it out of the way. I like to get it done early slows down a lot though. It slows down a lot in the 300s and even more in the in the 400s.
I'm going to stop that there because we're low on plant fibers. Switch to clubs. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This Alpha Seventeen is coming. It's, it looks like it should be pretty cool. I saw a bunch of uh, Joel's tweets where they've uh, they've brought on new uh, new coders for the uh, for the graphics and the environment. I guess I don't I don't know. There's speculation as to whether it's really going to improve performance much, but like like the new water and the new trees look freaking amazing. And their new vehicles coming too, right? There's like like a like a truck or a jeep or something, and like a motorcycle. I think. Did I do I have that right? I don't know. I play on console currently, so I don't don't keep up with every little detail. But that's what I thought I read.
You're in the blue, baby. Not that. Definitely not the jars. Yeah, I catch some of his videos sometimes too. It's a, it's it's cool to see that he does that. He, uh, you know, you can tell a lot of a lot of love goes into this game. They drive us all crazy, you know, especially like you know, like here on console, where it's got like a million problems and and it's a different team and everything. So it's like it's it's kind of like it kind of a mess, but they're working on it. But I gather it's the same kind of frustrations with the PC version. You know, it's like forever in alpha, and you know, one version fixes something and breaks other things, and you know, not everybody's always crazy with every design decision and whatnot. But you can tell a lot of love goes into this game from that guy and probably some other people. You know, and it's cool to see his videos on it. I think the last one I watched of his was, uh, didn't they change something with the, uh, the ragdoll physics on the, on the zombies so, so that they animate better? Like, so the, the motion is more, more natural, more human-like, I think. Did I, do I remember that correctly? It was, it was a while ago. It was like six weeks, a couple months ago, maybe, something. Alright guys, well um, I like to reset the game around this time every game day just because I'm on 120 minute days and that gives a nice two hour play session and hopefully helps avoid the dreaded MD5 error that we get here on Xbox. Um, it didn't help with the last one because I lost my last base a couple days ago to the MD5 error even though I was doing this. But I'm going to stop this here. I'm going to take a quick break. Probably be about 
10 minutes, maybe 15, you know, uh, but I'm, I'm going to come right back on and we'll do, uh, we'll do day six. Thanks for, uh, joining everybody. Uh, Anam Dupere, um, it was nice to, uh, I, I'm still trying to pronounce your name, if that's, if I did that right, uh, if I pronounced that properly. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming by again, um, Open Range, uh, Juiceaholic, everybody, it was good chatting with you, and uh, hope to see you again soon. We'll be back, I'll, like I said, I'll be back in like 10 or 15 minutes, and we'll pick it up. Thanks.